TJ Hooker's Adrian Zemed is perfectly cast in the role of a policeman in his top-rated show. He's a dancer, an athlete, and a dedicated student of the martial arts. But only a few years ago, a near-tragic football accident almost left him unable to walk. I took a handoff from the quarterback, and I was doing like an end round. I saw a hole in the line, and I went one way, and my knee went the other way, and it's just everything just ripped open. And uh, it was a pretty serious break. They were thinking of uh, amputating. But uh, fortunately, they didn't. Uh, my father was strong, and he uh, put his foot down and said, non je touch it at a leg. And uh, it took a, long, a lot of operations to make it right. Uh, I was in a body cast for like four months. And when I finally came off, my leg was all twisted and contorted. It was through rigorous dance training that Adrian regained the strength in his leg. And as he began rebuilding his body, he turned to acting as a means of expression. I didn't start lifting weights actually until I was cast in the National Touring Company of Greece. I, uh, I was sick and tired of, of, of not having all of that, that meat on me that I had lost. And here I was playing the leader of the T-Birds and I was supposed to be a tough, muscular guy. So as a warm up before every show, I started lifting weights and I started getting into it more and more. But eventually, I use it as a, as a form of therapy for myself right now. But although he appears to be in perfect shape, the injury continues to haunt him. When I was doing Grease 2, there's a sequence where I, was, I had to uh, uh, slide down the alley on my knees, and we wound up doing it about 50 times. And I couldn't walk after that. It, was, it, it really hurts a lot. But Adrian is not about to let anything stop him. And recently, he's taken up the demanding sport of karate as a form of physical and mental therapy. It's a great physical exercise for you, and it exercises every part of your body, but also mentally. It's very focusing. Martial arts, uh, that's, that, that, that's the other half of martial arts. It's, it's your mind. It always fascinated me, uh, and I always wanted to do it. And I always put it off until I started doing T.J. Hooker. I wanted uh, the character of Romano, instead of using the baton all the time, instead of using just roundhouse punches and things like that, I wanted him to be a little more uh, refined in his, in, his, uh, in his fighting. Okay, turn. Here Adrian works out with three-time world professional karate champion, Master Byung Yu. deal of discipline, Adrian has indeed come a long way, and today he applies that discipline to his interest in martial arts. It's very focusing, concentrating and, and focusing on a certain point. For example, when, you, when you're breaking the, a brick or something like that, you, you, I mean, that is the most important thing in your, in your world at that moment, and you simply focus on that point and, and concentrate all of your energy. And it was with that type of focus and energy that Adrian Zemed turned a physical tragedy into a personal triumph. Ah!